Hey guys, Jake Machini with Unknown Munitions here, and today I'm here to tell you about the Spartan Javelin Bipod. Uh, we just recently started carrying it and all the attachments that are available to you, so stay tuned. So I think the best way to get started here would just be to do a quick unboxing video on a new bipod here, show you what it comes with, give you a good sense of the packaging, the quality, and then we'll take it from there. So on the rifle here, we do have a short javelin. Now keep in mind, the one we chose to carry in the store, the one we choose to, to use, uh, they call it the Pro Hunt Tack. Tack specifically refers to this type of uh, attachment or, or detachment of the leg system here. So they're spring loaded and you just push this little lever in and release the legs. But that's the, what the tack refers to. There are some other options out there. There's a twist lock system. It, it could be a little bit lighter, uh, but we definitely prefer this style. Uh, it keeps the legs oriented in the right direction. You don't have any issues with legs coming loose uh, when you're out there on the hunt. So the ones we carry in the store, so they're all black. Uh, the short and the long both weigh about eight ounces. I think the short is 7.8 ounces. The long is somewhere around 8.3 ounces, uh, but basically a half a pound for either bipod. Uh, so yeah, so what it comes with in the package is a, a set of screws here. There's a couple uh, chrome silver style screws, four black ones. They're basically all different lengths. Uh, it comes with two Allen wrenches in here, and it does come with a simple uh, slip stud kind of installation. Uh, it has the, the shims, and it comes with you know this adapter ready to install on your rifle. There are three different shims depending on the curvature of your rifle on the bottom of your stock here. But it is designed to use an, an existing, basically one uh, sling stud existing hole on your rifle. And that's where you would screw it into. Uh, it does lock in pretty well. So it does have uh, what you would call cant and pan. Cant refers to your rifle tilting this way and this way. So that's controlled by this lever lock at the back. Now you can reposition this also. So once you get it tight, if you don't like the position of that lever there, you can pull out on it and reposition it on the nut to give you, you know, a better grab on it. Uh, but that is referred to as the, the cant feature. Uh, the pan would be the rotation this way. Now what it does for you is it has a single slot here at the bottom of that adapter and then a, a wider slot uh, here at the other end. So depending on what orientation you click this into the adapter, if you put the this little stud here on the side, if you put that stud in that single slot, you don't have any twist action. But if you invert it 180 degrees, you get some pan feature quite a lot actually. I prefer to run it. I like to load up the bipod when we're hunting and I like the, the, the lack of, of any pan when I'm loading up and getting ready to shoot. So it is designed to carry off the rifle. So you push in this little button here and it lets that leg fold over. It's designed, you know, put it in your pocket, put it in a, a, a you know, a belt pouch somewhere right here and pull it out and deploy so you don't have to leave it on your, your rifle while you're carrying it through the mountains. So magnetic attachment system uh, is designed to carry in your pocket, carry somewhere else, uh, quick attach to the rifle. So when we decided to carry this bipod in the store, uh, we wanted to do something different with the rails that were available for it. So the typical rail that's been available for the longest time is this type of, let's call it, we call it the universal uh, Spartan rail. And the reason it's universal is because the boss protrudes upwards from the rail itself and that is what's installed on this rifle that you guys are seeing. So you see the boss is protruding down from the rifle. This is very easy to install. Uh, it weighs just under an ounce, it's 0.9 ounces. But what you can do with this is, is most stocks or most production rifles do come with two sling studs you know, already at the front of your stock. So the, the reason we designed this one this way, it has three and a half inches of max screw spacing, which is the max we've ever found you know, on a production rifle or on a new stock. You can take those two sling studs that it came with, unscrew those. Now those are 1032 threads, if, if you were curious. And we do include the proper screws and claw nuts if you needed them to install each rail properly. But again, you would remove those two sling studs. Uh, we just put a little straight pick or something in there, a little small screwdriver and get them started going outwards. And this would install directly in place of those 
clothes with no real gunsmith work needed, uh, you know, no crazy stuff, guys, no drill bits, all that kind of stuff. Basically, you can take those two screws out, replace the two screws with the two screws that come with the rail. One of them up front here has kind of a taper lock under the head so it sits up nice in here. And, and super easy install, and you can put it almost on any rifle uh, using this rail here. And it does have a sling stud on the back here as well as a QD cup uh, up here towards the front. So again, 0.9 ounces, uh, covers up to three and a half inches of screw spacing. We call this the universal because it doesn't require any additional work uh, that we'll cover in these next two rails here. The, the partner of this guy that's not universal, we call it the flush top. Now obviously you can see a big difference right away. One, the boss comes up from the, the, the front of the rail. The other, the boss protrudes into, what the, in, into the stock basically. So it gives you a nice clean flush look once it's installed on the rifle. Now it will require some work to drill the rifle out in order for this boss to fit you know, down into the stock this way. That's about 0.375 inches and it will require a three quarter inch drill bit, spade bit, you know, something like that. I would recommend though, don't try to drill this by hand. It doesn't look great unless you have a drill press or a mill of some type that you have access to where you can level the stock, get it level, you know, in both axes. Make sure that when you plunge that three quarter inch that that boss is gonna be perfectly straight uh, down in there. So three quarter inch drill bit, spade bit, otherwise, uh, on our mill at the shop, I just zero it out when I touch the scope or touch the, the stock and I would plunge it in 0.375 inches is exactly what you need here. So, but it does have a much cleaner look and what it does enable you to do is whatever other type of bipod you might be using, an Atlas Cal, something of this nature, the bipod can sit over that Spartan boss area. Whereas this guy here, you know, you can only get so close to that boss before it runs into it. This guy, you can run it basically any length or at any position for any uh, standard Picatinny attachment. So that's the flush long. Same specs as this guy, 0.9 ounces, covers three and a half inch screw spacing. Then we have basically, the for, for me, the preferred option, unless you have two wide sling studs already there, is the Spartan flush top uh, short. So the short's gonna weigh 0.6 ounces and cover screw spacing up to an inch and a half. Again, these rails are available on our website now. They're in stock, uh, unknownmunitions.com. We also have the Javelin uh, ProTac bipods in stock as well in both the short and the long available on the website. You can also come into our retail store. We have samples out that you guys can check out, uh, touch them, feel them, you know, see if it's, if, if it's for you. It is the bipod that I choose to run when every ounce counts.